October 25th, 1987, the first global platform for broadcast news is launched. Groundbreaking television, truly a world report, drawing on the resources of hundreds of international contributors. A bold first step, a concept that continues to define the landscape of today's interconnected world. For more than 20 years, CNN's World Report has documented historic changes, giving us rare and unique reporting and independent perspectives from journalists at the center of world events. Now, World Report opens a new chapter. See the pictures, hear from reporters as they share their personal passions for their stories, adding a new dimension to the kind of coverage that only CNN can bring. Your host for this global journey is Guillermo Arduino. CNN's World Report starts now. And as many of us sit in comfort watching this program, there are plenty of others living in flimsy huts with mud floors. In Africa, deaths during pregnancy and childbirth are on the rise. Now, Khalil Gay with Senegal's NBN Television reports from Nigeria that something as basic as prenatal care could make a huge difference. In the remote areas of Africa, the joy of giving birth can be transformed into a tragedy for the mother-to-be. 17-year-old Fatimata was warned she would have a long labor when she got pregnant because of her narrow pelvis. In fact, her labor lasted four days. She was in terrible pain, but had no access to emergency obstetrical care and adequate assistance. The result was tragic. Her baby died, and she survived with two fistulas. An estimated half a million women die every year in childbirth or from pregnancy-related causes. As a result, more than one million children are left motherless and vulnerable. To address that urgent problem, the UN Population Fund, or UNFPA, organized a gathering in the Nigerian city of Sokoto. The goal, to offer participants a better understanding on causes and consequences of maternal mortality. At the gathering, traditional rulers and religious leaders from 21 African countries attributed the alarming rate of maternal mortality, mainly on the continent, to inadequate education on pregnancy and childbirth. How do we overcome these problems? The answer is simple. One word, education. The leaders agreed maternal mortality and child morbidity can be reduced in Africa if both men and women have the rightful information on the need to save lives during childbirth. Traditional and religious leaders, as custodian of knowledge, belief, and culture, are role models who are listened to. And respected. King Eze Ekepide Ginikanwa of Ovim, Abia State, appeared to have already made up his mind. I'm now more educated on how to tackle some of these problems. One is creating awareness, making sure in my community where I come from that every woman that is pregnant got registered in the primary health care centers and to be sure that they go for antenatal services. For Fatimata, that's good news. This gathering gives her hope she will be more educated during her future pregnancies. In Sokoto, Nigeria, this is Halil Gay of NBN for CNN World Report. I decided to cover this story because despite all the efforts made by African governments and UN specialized agencies, maternal deaths arising from complications related to pregnancy and childbirth are growing and reaching unacceptable high levels in Africa. The participation in this meeting of the Sultan of Sokoto, along with African kings, chiefs, and emirs, made me believe that good results could be expected from the meeting so far as behavior change is concerned. 